Perfect. TipsterGamers.com. Welcome in, guys. I'm Dottery Crib, and this is our easiest players to trade for list in Madden 21. Our full list will be on our website. We'll show you how to get guys like Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Chase Young, you name it. There's going to be a bunch of guys on that list. We're going to show you how to trade for them, how to do the SAR, the SAT, a bunch of other trade methods and things like that. So you'll be able to get a lot of different guys. Make sure to go to our website. In this, we're using an active roster. Don't use um, real life roster where you go and you have to pick the week. Choose the active roster. We also are doing this in preseason. So that way, every one of you guys will be able to Im imitate this uh, just like we are doing and your guys' leagues won't be different because if we were to do it in the regular season your guys's leagues would obviously be different because teams would pick players up their team needs would change and you know so on and so forth um our list on this here uh this easiest players to trade for list on our youtube version is a list that we wanted to matter uh, we did not want it to be a bunch of old guys you know just trading for aggression and things like that and also leaving us a comment down below sharing and liking our video really helps us go a long ways if you guys want to help us out leave us a comment down below like bacon uh, and that really helps us as shocking as that is uh, also make sure to click that notification bell so you stay up to date with our new content that's coming out this year and our live streams we also have tournaments coming up on our website too so go join our madden group for more madden content and the ability to get into our Madden tournaments. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Also, if you guys wanna support the channel, you guys can buy some of our merch, which it's not personal, baby. It's just business. And use any of our affiliate links down below. This really helps us you know, keep our channel going and grow as a company. We can't thank you guys enough. So the first guy on the list is actually um, a guy that we really recommend that you guys go out and get, and that is Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley is going to be a guy that he's still young. He's growing into his own. He's a big frame guy. He's got some good speed on him, and he's not a terrible overall. This is a guy we highly recommend picking up in almost every single one of your guys' leagues. And the reason is, is because, well, I mean, let me just show you. He, he's a guy that I really, really love picking up, and well, you can see why now. It's basically a gimme. It's very, very easy to get this guy. And in fact, if I wanted to even add it up a little bit more, I could probably add up a left outside linebacker who's a yellow interest here at this point in time. And I could possibly even get some picks back, which just makes him such a phenomenal choice to get at wide receiver. Use as many free agency players as possible so that way you guys can get these guys free. The free agency players that we're using are not guys that are super high overalls. They're not even the top at their position. So you guys can pick these guys up even if you're in a user league there's not going to be a lot of people fighting you for these guys another guy that we want to talk about is quentin nelson this is a guy who's been you know very easy to obtain for for quite a long while on madden right outside linebacker is going to get you most of the work done we're using positions and you always need to think about this as well using positions that you can replace fairly easy 70 overall halfback is not a position that is you know, this is not something that you're really going to be hurting on if you give up one of these positions here. And I even gave up a little bit too much. Always ask for picks back. Always even it out, ask for picks back. And that way you know 100% of your value. A right outside linebacker and a yellow interest, a halfback who's really not that hard to obtain. Halfbacks are fairly simple to get in Madden still. A little bit harder this year than it was last year. However, not that much difficult for you to really be held up by it in any, any way, shape, or form. So moving on, now we are going to go to tight end here. Now there's multiple tight ends you can get. You can get George Kittle, you can get Travis Kelsey, you can trade for basically any tight end that you want. However, if you wanna walk out with a tight end without spending a lot, who can perform and has you know, still a decent contract in and stuff like that, is Waller from the Raiders. Uh, he is a guy that definitely I would go after most of the time using a left outside linebacker. We picked up Lee from the free agency. Another guy that you may want to use here. Just read their team needs as well. You could always try and go for halfback uh, and kind of, you know, wiggle your way in with a halfback. Or you could possibly just say, hey, I'm going to go for a right end and use a green interest right end and then go from here and kind of see where you're at. And I know now at this point in time, I more than likely need that yellow interest halfback. I'd go for where here, try to get this trade to go through and it goes through. And now I have a starting tight end. He's one of the top tight ends in the league. For the most part, he's pretty good. 
and you guys can have him for basically free if you utilize free agency players. Another guy we want to recommend going and getting, this guy's a little bit older, but Mitchell Schwartz is a guy that is right now the best at his position, according to Madden, and something that you should definitely jump on. Middle linebacker, there's tons of middle linebackers. This is probably the most valuable position to obtain because of the fact that this position shows a lot of green interest across the board. You can see we almost got it to go through, and then I'm using the pad on player, which is a halfback. Always use your pad on players and then go from there. If you need to clear up room on the Chiefs, you could definitely do that by going after one of their halfbacks and then trading them back that halfback. So I use Pal and middle linebacker, not really that great. And also I'm gonna be able to trade Mitchell Schwartz in the off season. I'm going to be able to utilize him completely. His contract is really preferable when you trade for him because the Chiefs pay off most of his penalty, which is phenomenal. Another guy we are going to actually recommend that you go and get here is Kenny Clark from the Green Bay Packers. Kenny Clark is a damn good defensive tackle. The guy's a beast. You know, what else can you say about him? Like legitimately, this guy is the dude who's just, I mean, he's just a monster. That's really all there is to it. I'm going to try to work my way in with a tight end, kind of go from here. You typically need a green interest tight end. Um, but if you pick up Waller, you really won't need the guy that you currently have. So I'll go with a green interest tight end. The other thing too that I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with the middle linebacker. Like we said before, middle linebackers show quite a bit of value. And at this point in time, I'm going to try to go with the lowest overall middle linebacker that I can. I can go with the higher overall middle linebacker if this just doesn't go through. Uh, but I want to try to use, you know, as little of guys as possible, go second round pick, kind of see if they're going to smeege me because you know they're going to smeege me. And here I may have to tune up some of those other positions. I'd go the 12th uh, overall pick here, kind of go from here. So I know at this point in time, I need to upgrade the middle linebackers. And the trade meter is such a fantastic, uh, you know, option for you to use when it comes to this trading, because now you can see, okay, I'm going to smeege them. I'm going to get the exact amount that I want or that I need to spend, so I'd use a 74 overall. Now, if you need to get a middle linebacker, you really can get a middle linebacker for fairly cheap. Uh, in fact, you can get some for free using our SAR method. So at this point in time, I'd use McMillan. I know I can replace him. I know I'm getting a guy who's really good. You know, this guy's not super easy to trade for, but the thing is he's worth making it onto this list because he's really not that difficult in many different areas. A tight end's really not that hard to get. Middle linebacker super you know not that hard to get in a first round pick is also you know not that hard to get i've said it enough dear lord let's move on the next guy we're going to talk about here is big daddy von miller the big daddy von miller is a guy that a lot of people have been recommending to use and that is because of the fact that it's trading for regression he's 31 years old and you know teams are more uh, you can trade with teams a lot easier when you trade for regression regardless of who the player is remember that it's not who the player is it's what is happening to the player even though von miller is von miller they're still willing to trade him away however we're going to also add to this by adding another pad on player this is a pad on player is adding a player who you can get very easily and he is just like a part of the deal and, and that's basically it so we're going to also add philip Lindsay. they got melvin gordon and melvin gordon makes it a little bit easier to trade for philip Lindsay. he's never been really that difficult to trade for to begin with however um it's definitely a position that you need to add on why not i'm going to use a red interest halfback here around that 69 overall range maybe increase it a little bit more now i'm looking at their uh, team needs here which is center and i'm going to use ted you always want to use positions that you can either get back easily or that you are basically giving up for free you know here marcel darius is a guy that i picked up on the free agency all you guys will be able to pick him up and at this point in time i'm going to check and see if i'm getting exactly my value so i'd go for a seventh round pick here and see if i can get it i know i'm really really close and the trade got declined barely wow so i have two options of what to do i can use a yellow interest halfback or i could just simply use this guy who was from the free agency and try and get it done 
this way and that actually just bit us in the tushy butt so i'm gonna go back to ted here and then fine i guess if you make me i'll use a yellow interest halfback but now since i up the ante i want some picks back because i know i'm overpaying at this point in time i know i'm coming close so always protect yourself and ask for picks back i'd rather know i got 100 percent of my value and you can see there is very close Look at the trade meter there. Very, very close. It's at the end of Dolphins. So at this point in time, I know that if it goes through, I'm getting exactly my value. I didn't pay too much. I didn't pay too little. And the Broncos got exactly what they wanted as well. So the next guy on the list is another guy who is a little bit older, which is Demario Davis. Demario Davis is you know, pretty simple to get in many different ways. And I'm going to have to use a yellow interest. Oh man, I don't really have all the guys that I need, but I'll use juice because you could still get halfbacks back fairly simple. And I'm trying to do this all on the same team. So I don't have to do a lot of edits and blah, 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 and show you guys also as well that you can do it on the same freaking team. And that's what I'm talking about there. So yellow interest halfback i'll probably go third round pick here and then i also have of course an issue when it comes to funds which i will correct i will use this guy here i just need a yellow interest also ask for picks back and you'll be able to get them try and add on a pad on player as well to be able to get those guys and you should definitely work out for you well so the next player that we're going to be talking about is actually an entire team which is the patriots so we are going to go after multiple different guys on the patriots shaq mason is another guy we want to go after He's a great right guard. The other thing about guards in general when it comes to this Madden is guards are easier to trade for and they're just as good as any other lineman. So you can move guards to tackles and they'll do just fine. And tackles in general are harder to trade for. Left tackles are extremely hard to trade for. Right tackles, you're going to have to trade for regression. So you might as well use a lot of guards. Go after guards, move them over. You can go after Joe Thunny. You can go after multiple different guys as well. But however, I want to go and get cornerbacks. That's what I want to do. I want to have a good cornerback selection. So I'm going to go after Jonathan Jones and JC Jackson at the same time. Now, the thing to know about the Patriots is picking up like Delaney Walker, okay, on the free agency. He shows a lot of value. The Patriots absolutely love tight ends the other thing you could do is you could use one of these tight ends down here even a 68 overall is going to show yellow interest trade for some of these players and then keep working your way up because the team needs will not change for tight end if you use a guy who's a 68 overall they'll give you good value for the 68 overall however it's not going to change their team needs up above and you could keep trading these tight ends to them and keep working the system that way however we're going to use delaney walker because of the green interest because we need that green interest in order to get all three of these guys that we want to go and pick up the next step here is using a right outside linebacker you really don't have to get too fancy with the right outside linebacker and you can also trade for one that's a little bit older we have lawson here lawson's not bad but he's also not great i would definitely make this trade for him no questions asked the other thing too is on wide receiver now a lot of people immediately go, if I go to try to use some of these wide receivers here, you're going to see and go, well, they may not like wide receiver. I'm going down the list. I'm using Wilson, another red interest there. There's, there's no luck. I'm going to use Grant, okay, another red interest. However, there is some guy possible that I could use, maybe Alan Hearns. Nope. Well, it looks like I'm, you know, crap out of luck or I'm not. Preston Williams. You've got to keep trying. The system is willing to give you something. So at this point in time, I'm going to offer this up and the trade will go through. And I just got a huge deal for guys that I really don't need. I can replace. And most of these guys will be on the free agency except for Lawson and Williams. But you could imitate this in some other form on the free agency. And the last guy on our list is Harrison Smith. You could also use some pad on players in this. We won't go over all the pad on, pad on players that you can use because there's quite a bit that you can use. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go after right end because I know, you know, I could replace right end to a decent degree, even use some outside linebackers if I really wanted to. And I'm going to look to try and use halfbacks, one of the most valuable positions to use in the trade game. Uh, I'll use Lillard. That's great uh layered whatever the hell his name is i'm using you big fella uh, and so the next step here is i'd probably go after let's see here right outside linebacker i'm gonna try to use a green interest right outside linebacker 
if I don't have one. So if I'm, I'm sitting in this situation here right now, and my only step is using like Demario Davis, which I don't want to use. What I can do is think outside the box. I either can go pick one up on free agency and try to use a right outside linebacker that's on free agency. Or the next step that I could do is grab a guy who's a left outside linebacker and I can move him over. Don't just limit yourself based upon, you know, one dimensional thinking with, oh, I have to use one right outside linebacker. Kendall Fuller was listed as a cornerback last year and he's now listed as a free safety. These guys move positions all the time and it's not unrealistic for them to swap sides. One linebacker can play multiple different linebacker positions. Remember, these guys are professionals through and through. So let's go back to this here. I would look to use a right end as well, Wilkins, and then here I'll go for a right outside linebacker, use Lee, and that's what I'm going to go after. I'm seeing the green interest there that I want. At this point in time, make sure that you're getting enough value, and I can't use that line, that actual halfback because I don't have enough money, but I would use that halfback there. I'm going to have to up the ante here, but I can also you know, get more of my value back. If I have to use a higher overall running back, even though I don't have to, that 69 overall would have worked. I can get more of my value through adding a draft pick on their end. So you can see there, I got a fourth round pick. I could have added possibly a third, kind of went up from there. Always start up high and work your way down. And that way you get the most of your value. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share and like the video for us. Make sure to subscribe, head to our Madden channel, our Madden website, for, and join our Madden group for more Madden content to enter into our tournaments. Also guys, make sure to have a damn good day. I'm out of here, I gotta go.